Welcome to another Let's Play by Dexector1234, and today I'm going to play Dungeons of Dreadmore. <laughs> I stumbled upon this game um, not too long ago, but I've been playing it like a madman ever since, and I thought to myself, hey, what if I played this, you know, for the Let's Play community? Because this game is awesome and fun. I know other people have already begun playing it, and I was stupid enough to not figure out how to record this game at first. But yeah, that's that. So, I've already had a couple of characters at level 10, but that probably won't ruin the experience for you guys. I'll try to keep as much fresh and new and surprise as I can, because this game is full of surprises. Um, it's a roguelike, roguelike, of course, which means that um, it's filled with death, random dungeons, potions that all, does all kinds of crap, and a lot of really weird shit that can kill you. Also, there's loot fisk. <laughs> oh, which is pretty much just rotten fish. Oh, oh, hey, this is a <laughs> this is a parody of the Doom, uh, the Doom cover, the game Doom. That, that's that's actually pretty neat. I just figured that out right now. Uh, also, just a quick notice: I do not want to play uh, Plants vs Zombies anymore because. After completing it 11 times and a lot of shit coming up with that game, I am not going to continue that let's play. Anyways, let's get going! Okay, choose your difficulty. We have three. Elf just wants to have fun. Dwarf is moderation. Our practice approach to engineering. Wait, practical. And going rogue, because losing is fun. Aww, Dwarf Fortress. Also, I only play on permadeath. Because it's more fun that way. And permadeath means no reloading after death, that means when you die, you die. It's gone, finito, and your quest is over. And I'm just gonna go to always moderation, because I always go to always moderation. So, we have a series of skills here. There's swords, axes, maces, staves, archery, thrown weapons, unarmed combat, dual wielding, shield bearer, berserker raids, artful dodger, master of arms, dead shot, vampirism, golemancy, flesh smithing, mathematics, uh, psionics, necronomiconomics, <laughs> viking wizardry, astrology, promethean magic, magic training, blood mage, laywalker, perception, burglary, assassination, fungal arts, alchemy, wand lore, archaeology, smithing, tinkering, and then there's last choice and random skills. These two makes either my last character, as you can see with this, or a random character based on random selections. But uh, this time I think I'm going to go a mage type, so I will choose staves, and then I will choose golemancy, because I like golemancy. Artful Dodger is always good, so is cunning. Um, do you want archaeology? No, I do not. I want mage training, magic training. Blood mage, so I regenerate mana while killing things, and ley lines for more mana. There, perfect mage. And I think I will call him... Dildu, just because I can. In ages long past, great heroes bound the Dark Lord Dreadmore in the depths of Earth, that his evil would trouble the land nevermore. Alas, the foul lich Dreadmore proved more devious and patient, for he has been loosening his magical bonds, slowly freeing himself to again spread his evil in the world of light. He must be stopped. Again! Once more it is time of adventure, of glory. It is time for a hero. Unfortunately, this hero is you. You have been summoned by the king to prove yourself, to save the land and its people, and to join the heroes of legend in victory over the dungeons of Dreadmoor. <laughs> Anyways, that is that's actually a pretty epic intro. Little humorous, but this game is filled with it. Both epic and humor. Welcome to the dungeons of Dreadmoor. Please enjoy your stay. <laughs> I've always enjoyed that. If you have not played the tutorial, so I'm going to work your way through it. It contains many interesting facts of information about Dungeon that will help you on your way. Already finished it, not really worth it. Because it does not proper properly prepare you for what comes. Ooh, the Puncho with no name. Take your best shot. This game is filled with references and sadly I don't get most of them. Because I am a douchebag. 
Okay, so let's see here. We let's take inventory first. Oh, wait, no, that's skills. Um, I just equipped the puncher with no name, which grants a good uh, dodge chance and enemy dodge reduction. And I shifted out my old stupid rope for that. I have some Pamiagano Reggiano cheese. There's cheese everywhere in this game. Some loot fisk. Ooh, no, I don't want to eat that because, see, it doesn't really heal anything. Um, I got some alcohol, which is mana in this game. And I have animate blade being, which make this kind of trap. And if enemies walk into it, they get damage. Yay! So yeah, let's check out the food machine, and nothing interesting for now, because we don't have any Sockmits. Which are, <laughs> which are the money in this game. Sockmits sound so weird. So yeah, let's kick down the door. Oh, monsters already. Well, let's unveil the blade beings. Ha 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 Oh dear, that was a stupid one. Stupid baddie. Stupid blobby. Stupid everything. I am the dungeoneer. I am the master. I am the hero. I cannot die. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a lie. This game is filled with death. I've been playing it more on my laptop, and I have just a giant roster of dead characters there. So yeah, this is Dungeons of Redmore. I'm I'm gonna go up here. Ooh, a ring. Cover up the overworked cheese. <laughs> this uncomfortable. For uncomfortable and rusty square iron ring is made for beings more angular than yourself. Possibly robots. It started with obsidian. Huh. Okay. Well, now I have a ring. Bloody brilliant. Ooh, traps. Those are uh, gargoyle arrow traps. Which means they're on the ground here somewhere. There they are. You can disarm them by clicking on them, but there's a chance you might fail. Ooh, more loot fisk. Do, 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 do. Lots of coin. Oh, see, that's what happens if you don't disarm. Or at least if you fail the disarming. If you don't have any trap affinity, you only have 45% chance to actually fix something. Do, do, do. Sort. There we go. Also, I have a Golemancer's cap. You are assured that the sigil on this had meant strength, but it's actually the Euro sign for a naive foreigner. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry for that little jump cut there, but uh, something came up, and it's gone now. So let's keep going. Yes. Do 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 do. Hmm. Pray to the st in. Pray to in. Inconsequentia, the goddess of side quests. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh no, that's just hilarious. Yeah, let's see. The magical artifact Frikiva, the lengthy caribou, has been lost. We take the challenge of fighting it for the glory of Inconsequentia? Yeah, sure, why not. So now I need to find a magical artifact called the Frikiva. Huh? Oh, uh, lag spike. Who cares? Die, beastie! Man, I am not a good warrior. Maybe because I'm a mage. Derp. Uh, disarm? Yes. Oh. And my face became a bomb. Bomb, 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 bomb. Come on, you. S oh, baddies! No! Baddies! Die! Whew! Okay, so many baddies. Yeah, I'm just gonna step on the satanic displacement glyph. Oh god, more foes. Jeez. No, my face. You must not chew on it. Die, Blobby. Oh, good, I'm alive. These things are a godsend because you can get out of there quickly. Ooh! Potion of Radiance. Also, I just bashed the chest open. Uh, more baddies! Or little baddies. 
Come on. Die, Mr. Betty. Ha 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 ha. I can place the, um, the ability, the animated blade being on top of a foe, but I can place it on top of myself, then move out of the way. Then they move directly into it. That is really, really helpful. Also, I am not in the best health condition. Oh dear. Diggles! Or sickly diggles! Oh dear god. <sighs> okay, two life left. Um, yeah. Ooh, I wonder what happens if I pull here. Doink! No more traps. At least there are only gargoyle arrow traps. Ooh. Okay, I'm, I I think I'm gonna stand around a bit and regenerate health because there's a shit ton of baddies. Ooh, potion of radiance. The fluid in this flesh shines brightly and is difficult to look at directly. You're in for a flash. <laughs> okay. Where did the baddies go? Ooh, Blobby! Die, Mr. Blobby! No, I do not want to buy your salesman. <laughs> Eat my blade traps. Ha! <laughs> now entering baddie country. I know that's from something, but I don't know what. Ooh, gold. Shutty drawing. Dwarven trap. This is a subpar dwarven IED design. All craft craft draw ship is pretty lousy actually. That's from. That's also from. Dwarf fortress. Anyway, it's just on that and ooh, a foppish tunic. Too bad it doesn't really work for mages. Wait, what does it say? Wearing this tunic will make you the dandiest fop in all the land. <laughs> oh, hilarious. A silver ingot. Shiny! Oh, more arm um, more traps. Ow! Yay! Disarm that. Betty! Awesome. Do 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 Gold for me or sock mitts as they're called. Okay. Now we'll go here. And there's nothing. Damn it. I'm just gonna go go down there. Do 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 And kick a door! Okay, kick it or kick it or Yay! Oh no, more baddies. Damn it! <laughs> Damn you! Hmm. The sum? No! The sum? No! One more time. Damn it! Okay, don't walk into that because that would just kill me. Yes, even my own traps will attack me if I walk into them. Okay, I'm just gonna just gonna walk it off. Ooh, the music changed. Ding Disarm this? Oh I can't disarm anything. I'm worth shit. Regenerate your health. And I'm not eating the loot fisk. The loot fisker for the loot fisk god. Oh dear, sickly diggles. <laughs> Fucking dicks! <laughs> what the? Oh, the other diggle hit the trap and died. <laughs> Level up, it's dangerous to go alone. Tick! 